The tragic story, the double murder in Noida of a young girl, Arushi, and a man, Hemraj, is a story that the nation has been watching for the last week. There is today the dramatic developments, the arrest of the father, Dr. Rajesh Talwar. The police claim that he is the man behind the murder of both his daughter and Hemraj. But there is one person who hasn't spoken yet, one of the four who is here to tell her story. And she joins us today. That's Dr. Nupur Talwar, Arushi's mother, and Dr. Rajesh Talwar's wife, uh, Nupur. This must be an incredibly difficult time for you. You've lost your daughter. Your husband is now in uh, judicial custody. I know you don't want to talk about details of the case, but tell us your story. Sonia, all I can say is that my life has come to an end. Arushi and Rajesh were my life. I lost Arushi eight days ago in such a brutal way. And I know with all conviction, 100%, Rajesh doted on his daughter. This could, it couldn't be the way that they're suggesting this. It's, it's totally untrue. We were such a happy family, Sonia. I mean, I used to always think I must have done something really nice in my last life to have such a wonderful family. We had so many plans for her. We were planning a holiday in the, to, on the 15th of June. We had planned a birthday party for her. And he kept telling her, Arushi, call as, num as many people as you want. She used to say, Dad, it might get expensive. He said, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do your birthday party. You just do what you want, Sonia. It's... I don't know what to say. I, all I can say is that I have faith in the legal system. And I hope justice is done. More than that, uh, I have faith in God. And I think faith in God. Faith in God is the only thing that's going to probably work for me now. Carry you through such a difficult time. That's the only thing left, Sonia. You, you described just now what a wonderful family you had. We've heard all the version that a fit of rage and all that. To the Rajesh you knew, was he like that? Could he have done something like this? Rajesh never uttered a word to her. If he ever wanted to say something to her, he would always say, tell her this, tell her that. He would tell me, why do you get annoyed at her? I mean, if she doesn't want to study, let her not study for today. I mean, he was the one who would always it's not possible. I've known Rajesh. I'm sure a lot of his patients know him and a lot of people around know him. And it's unimaginable. One of the most gentle souls ever. You it's unimaginable, unimaginable, Sonia. I don't think. So you will back him completely? Completely. Till the last minute. It is not possible. There is someone out there. And I just hope that person's caught and justice is done. Mm -hmm. the, you're Arushi's mother. You're the, of the four people in the house that night, you're the only one here to actually tell your story. When you hear all the rumors and speculations and allegations, what would you like to say? Sonia, I was there with Arushi. I was the one who got her home. We were together. We ate dinner as a family. We talked as a family. We watched television as a family and we went to sleep. I mean, just like any family, like any other household. We have work to do next day, there's school the next day, and you just go off to sleep, and that's the end of the day. I was there, I mean, what is there to say about this? I've been in that house, I was living in that house, I was sleeping next to Rajesh that night, and I mean, is such a thing possible? Do you think any mother could sit through the house or sit there and sleep through that night and, you know, just not be aware of such a thing? If her husband was to do it, I mean, I think it's beyond anyone's imagination. I mean, there's so many people out there, the mothers out there. I mean, can you even think? Can any mother think it's possible? The, all the police kind of insinuation that it's just a cover-up and the whole family may be protecting uh, Rajesh or something. What would you like to say to that? It's utter nonsense. Totally utter, baseless nonsense. They can say what they have to say. That's up to them, Sonia. But I know it's not true. I know from my heart it's not true. God knows it's not true. He was there, he was watching, he's seeing all of us. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he'll do something about it. He will. I know, again, you're going to fight the legal case in the court. I'm not going to ask you in specifics. But when you've been reliving that, talking to people, talking to your family members, what do you think actually happened? The fact is, Sonia, I have no idea. I initially moment I woke up and I figured this had happened, I obviously thought it was a servant. I mean, that's the first thing that's going to come to your mind. One day later, when the 
the body is discovered, the police start looking here and there. Then the only thing that comes to my mind is probably some kind of an enmity that the servant had. You know, I mean, it could be anything. Arushi must have been just a witness to some something happening in the house. I mean, how do I know? How does she know? She can't answer that anymore. No one can actually. No one can answer that. <coughs> All these theories you've heard that Arushi and Hemraj were close, and that's why uh, Rajesh got enraged. Describe to us your family. Is what was the Hemraj Hem was a servant we, whom I had trusted. He was about 45 years old, grey guy whose hair are turning grey. He has a grandson, he has his own children, an elderly kind of a person in the house. I never had any problems with Hemraj whatsoever. In fact, the, the day on Thursday when we had lunch together, Arushi had palak paneer, the first time in her life. It's a fact, Sonia. And he said, and I remember him saying, uh, Didi, Aaj Arushi ne palak paneer khaya. Kitni achhi baat hai. Every day she's eating pizzas from outside. I'm so happy that she's eating palak paneer. You know, th that is the kind of thing that they had. He always cared for her. He did care for her in whatever way he could. But, I mean, I would never have thought that's possible at all, ever, ever. So all this uh, twisted thing that somehow that he was a, made perhaps a father figure because she wasn't close to Rajesh. Uh, is that true at all? It is not true at all. I knew everything about uh, Arushi. Rajesh knew everything about Arushi. Everything she, she had in school or the things her friends were going through in school, what normal teenagers go through, is something she spoke to both of us about. In fact, there are times when he probably knew a lot of things, you know, and uh, which he would say, ah, today I spoke to Papa and we talked about this. And it, it, is, it is not possible, Sonia. It is just not possible. The killer is out there somewhere, and how are you have to find him. How are you going to fight this? Because you're really alone battling this now. I know you have a very strong family and support system, but how are you going to fight this? We'll have to just fight it out with the court. In the court, the truth is there. The truth has to come out, Sonia. There is no way. I mean, I don't think there's so much injustice out there that it won't come out. At least in God's court, I'm sure there's not so much injustice. We just have to do this. We'll have to do it, and I'm going to do it to the end. I will not just sit back and let anyone say or do what they wish to. You were, you were describing to me earlier just the fact that this was like any other day in your life. In fact, it was quite a happy day because uh, you opened Arushi's birthday present. Tell me about that. It was a normal day, Sonia. I picked her from her school at about 2.30, and we came home, and we had lunch together. And my sister-in-law was at home for lunch. We all had lunch, that Palak Paneer incident. And then uh, I took her to her nani's house, and then after which I continued for, I went off for my work for another two hours. I came back and I picked her up from her class. We entered home and uh, just generally sat and talked. She was very excited about a birthday party, which, was th which we had pre-planned pre -planned for her because 24th, some of her friends were out of town. So she said, I'm going to have this on and the 18th. And today is her birthday. And today is her birthday. I mean, uh, and I haven't got a moment to sit with her and even talk to her or even look at her picture in the last eight days. I just haven't done that. And things are just getting, have just gotten worse from there. But yes, anyways, to come back to that day, Sonia, we just, um, she kept calling up her friends to make sure uh, who's coming and who's not coming. And the next day, I think, was the last day of school. So again, they were planning on a outing. So who's going with whom? So that was the thing that kept happening. And then you'll open her birthday present also. That and then evening. she came home. And yes, we, after dinner, we went to our room. And the courier had come in the morning. We had ordered a camera for her. Rajesh said, no, let's give it to her on the 24th. And I said, De de te, it's her birthday party. Three days, she can take pictures there. He said, it doesn't matter. Let her use my camera. But we'll surprise her with this one. And I said, no, let's go and give it. So we both entered her room. In fact, we held it together and walked in. And, and, she, and she was so touched. And then we just kind of opened it. and. I know, I, look I, at that. Yeah, I, I know your lawyers have said that you mustn't, and so I won't ask you about the evidence and the back and forth or whatever, but just tell me, as a mother, would you cover up if you thought or had any inkling or any suspicion that your husband had killed Arushi? Would you cover up as a mother? Would any mother do that? Would any mother sleep there through the night knowing that her husband has killed the child? 
I don't think that mother is a human being. The mother has to be a some kind of an animal or something. It is not possible. And any, I mean, even if the father was supposed to kill a child, is the father going to do that and keep sleeping there till the morning? All this. Uh, Rumors. We know that uh, Dr. Nita Durrani came out. She's spoken to the press and said that all this is completely uh, false. Did you know uh, Dr. Nita Durrani when you're hearing all these rumors? What's your reaction to that? Dr. Durrani is like an extended family. I have known her since Arushi was born. Her daughter and my daughter are the same age, probably a six month difference. They were like sisters, you know. They have been a part of my family all throughout. Whenever we are in need, medical problems, in the middle of the night, her husband has come and given us shots or taken us to the hospital or looked after Arushi when she, she used to have problems. I've never had any other family doctor, never had any other. They were the first thing Rajesh has had major asthmatic attacks in the night and he's the first person we've always called up and said, please come and he will be there in five minutes. Anita has always looked after Arushi, whether it was getting her from the time when a lot of times she was the one who would get her from school. If I had to go out at night and I couldn't leave her in anyone's house, then I would leave her with there. I mean, that was the only place she would, besides home and besides Nani's house, that was the only place where I felt she was safe. Mm -hmm. They are like family to me. And this is absolutely and purely, purely baseless conjectures, I don't know what the meaning behind all this is. To, even after all this, I'm hundred and all I can say is that it is it has nothing to do with that. There are no such there is no such thing. I know it's difficult, but tell me what the last eight days have been like. You've already lived through the worst nightmare that a parent could and the last it's eight been days hell. has become worse. It has been hell, Sonia. Each day has been hell for me. To see your daughter brutally murdered is something which I think it's one of God's biggest punishments that he's given to me. I don't think anyone can get a worse kind of a punishment ever. I've seen that. I kept telling Rajesh the last couple of days, Rajesh, we'll do something, we'll do something for her, we'll get over it slowly. Our life has to now be focused on her, what we're going to do for her, for her memories. We'll find a life for ourselves, we'll keep doing something for her, we'll never forget her, we'll never let anyone forget she existed for us. And he was such a broken man, Sonia, you won't believe it. Uh, people have been telling me and you're my family, Nupur, you are stronger. You have to give him the strength. He's a man who's not going to handle, be able to handle this. He's going to break down any time. You have to give him the strength, you're stronger. He is very, very weak. He is shattered, shattered, completely shattered by this incident. And now, what is there to say now? I mean, I, I'm not sure he's ever going to recover from this. He may not even be a sane person by the time this is over. But you will continue to fight for him? I'm going to fight for him. I'm going to fight for this family. I'm going to fight for Arushi. And I'm sure she's going to give me the strength to do that. No one else. What would you like just to say to the millions of viewers who are watching this? What would you like to say in memory of your daughter? All I can say is that... Uh, Arushi has been taken away at the hands of some animals. My life has come to an end. My husband's has been taken away. And I, I do think there's justice there. And um, all I can say is that I'm going to hope and I'm going to try my best to get justice for my family. It's not going to be something that I'm just going to let go has to be justice at the end of the day. Oh, yes, I'm hoping that there's light at the end of this tunnel. The cloud has to move on, the cloud has to move off. And it said you are the only one of the four and the person who would the most invested obviously in finding her daughter's uh, killer. Nupur, thank you so much for speaking to us today. Thank you. Thanks, Sonia.